Vice-Chancellor, thank you very much indeed for talking to Cambridge Mathematics today. What's this event about? Well, the Cambridge Mathematics uh, event is actually about launching a, a framework. It's about launching a framework which is uh, held jointly between the, the Cambridge Mathematics Faculty, Cambridge University Press, Cambridge Assessment and the Faculty of Education. And what we're about is actually trying to understand all of the needs and the uh, academic basis on which mathematics education from 5 to 19 should be put together as a holistic approach. And this isn't just of interest to uh, academics in terms of deciding what's there. The long-term aim is to make sure that this is relevant to both students and to teachers um, so that the pedagogy is also taken on board at the same time. So why are you doing this now? Well, the, the biggest surprise is, is why it hasn't been done up until now. And in today's world, particularly in a world which is going to rely more and more on technology, then the acquisition of mathematical skills from 5 to 19 is, is a vital part of education. So it couldn't be more timely uh, than at present. How does this differ from other programmes and visions? Well, Cambridge tries to make a difference in all that we do, but actually this, above all else, is trying to make sure that we provide the right sort of framework, the evidence base on which we can actually work, not just in the United Kingdom, but globally, to see what do we know about mathematics education, where do we know about good practice, what do we know that works, what do we know that doesn't work, so that we can really build on that evidence base the best education system possible for young people. And do you think it's important to have a framework that is evidence-based? Well, it's something unique that Cambridge Mathematics does. I mean, we pride ourselves here in, um, at the university that virtually everything that we do, we try to do from an evidence base that's as strong as possible, so that we don't have to go around listening to anecdote after anecdote about what works. But let's test as to what we know, understand where the gaps are, fill those gaps in, and then making sure that that evidence base can really inform the actions that follow on from that. I mean, mathematics is the most logical of subjects, so surely it is absolutely appropriate that we work with an evidence base first and foremost. And so how does this differ from other programmes or visions? You say mathematics is a, a logical discipline. Well, for, for me, mathematics is absolutely fundamental to the world of tomorrow. And therefore, we owe it to our young people to make sure uh, that they're provided with the best tools possible to actually de uh, deliver and to help teachers be able to get the very best out of their students. And I, I suppose by involving all of these groups, all of these uh, stakeholders and people, it's holistic in the way you're tackling it. Well, holistic it, it certainly is and it's going to be even more holistic while we start with the beginnings of a framework that we know from the four main players this isn't just about ourselves it's about engaging the whole mathematics uh, community not just here in Cambridge but around the United Kingdom and overseas so that we can begin to develop the right framework um, on which uh, to base logical con uh, conclusions and best practice. You seem, Vice-Chancellor, to be mapping out a, a vision that's going to be a conversation about mathematics around the world. So how will it develop? Well, the one thing that I think we've got to be very careful of is conversations can sometimes drift into and disappear into nothingness. This is a conversation, but with a very firm end goal, which is practical attainment uh, and the best practical advice to deliver at the end of the day, the best sort of coursework, the best sort of uh, material that's available online, the best support that we can to teachers, the best impact we can make on teacher education in mathematics. So yes, it's a conversation, but it's very much a conversation with an end goal. And why the University of Cambridge? You've got some famous and big names in mathematics, both at the current time and in your own history? Well, absolutely. I mean, I'm sorry, I'm going to be a little bit um, uh, parochial here, but for me, uh, Cambridge and mathematics are synonymous. If we go back from Isaac Newton to Stephen Hawking, um, these are just uh, names that are day-to-day -day names. Mathematics isn't just about mathematicians sitting in mathematics departments. Engineers rely on uh, mathematics. Biologists are incre increasingly relying on mathematics. And everybody who's working in today's world, from computer scientists to 
the person who might be mending your washing machine increasingly has to have mathematical skills and part and parcel uh, of, of, that wor of, of their world. So this is an exciting programme because it's got the foundations to set people off of all ages on a mathematical journey. Well, it does. And one of the, the real difficulties is we often talk about this framework, oh, it's, it's boring, it's yet another uh, academic action. Why I think this one is different is because it set itself goals for the future. There are deliverables at the end of these discussions and these debates. And that's what I find exciting, because we know there will be an outcome. And we know that that outcome can make a real difference to, to, to students. It's not that I would see every single child as a potential uh, Einstein or another Newton. That isn't going to happen. But what we can do is to build up the level of competence in mathematical skills that uh, that individual student requires. And as with all things in education, all you aspire to do is to make sure that you can ensure that every single student can reach the highest level of performance that is commensurate with their abilities. That's the goal of education. And yes, there'll be some wonderful mathematicians in the next decade that will come through, hopefully many of them coming through the university here in Cambridge, but many will not. But what I do hope is the work that the university is putting into this today will help all those people in the future, wherever their own careers and needs take them. Vice-Chancellor, thank you very much indeed for talking to Cambridge Mathematics today.